Hello guys, and today I'm reviewing the Nerf Zombie Strike Crosscut. So I don't have an unboxing for this box, but, ugh, per usual, because I got this one from a Goodwill a very long time ago. Back when Zombie Strike was like first coming out. This blaster is weird, but it's cool, I guess. I'll just, let's just get to the review. So starting at the front, uh, this is a single, or kind of single shot, front loading blaster. There's two, you can put in two darts in this. So put in darts, you just put them in like this. This blaster uses a smart AR system to um, fire the darts. It'll like fire the top one, it hits harder than the second one for sure. There's also this chainsaw thing. I don't want another point of that. There's a bunch of just decorations up here on the side. There's the Zombie Strike logo. Here we have one tack rail. I don't know. I guess sight is all you put there. And then uh, down to the grip. This is more like a shotgun grip, personally. I, I mean, I have to bend my arm to get it straight, which I don't like because if you don't really want to get it straight like a normal Nerf one, you have to point up. Which makes sense because if you see how bad this blaster's corona velocity is, you know, I'll just tell you right now. This thing, I got 48 FPS out of this. That's not even like good, but that's terrible. But I feel like my chronograph must be broken or something because like when I would fire, it was like 48 FPS. Then I didn't feel like 48, it was just weird. Back down to this grip, it, it just feels like a shotgun for some reason and I have to bend my arm now that I feel about it. I mean, it didn't, I didn't really think about it that much before, but now that I think about it, it's kind of very uncomfortable. And you end up pointing the gun up like this to just to get it straight, which is kind of actually good since they don't drop, or I mean they do drop, they don't really go that far. Then the trigger pull is pretty standard, but this grip is, oh, it feels like a shotgun, but it's not a shotgun. You have the second trigger, which I usually rest my other finger. Really, it's good for resting your finger there. I like the, the thing on a trumpet, the, all the holes on a trumpet and the grips that you have. What this thing does is when you push it back, it starts the chainsaw. This chainsaw, it can't hurt actually, unlike the other one I can't remember, I think it was like Buzzsaw or something. It also saw like this. It, this one hurts, surprisingly. <laughs> but also don't go melee people uh, like with this, the, the plastic will hit them. That will hurt way more than just the saw, the foam saw. I'd rip this off personally. It makes it not fit in the most holsters. This, this saw is just a hunk of junk. Now if I ripped this off, it would also look like a revolver and it would be kind of cool. It would look better. I mean, it looks awesome with the saw, but like, I act it's not tactical, it's just cool. It's not tactical. This is a tactical way, but like, I could put a giant scope on that if I wanted to. Um, priming is all the way back here. There's two finger holes for the priming for some reason. Um, to priming, just pull back and then pull the trigger. Priming is pretty easy, pretty normal. So I'll just show you it firing. Shooting some standard Nerf Elite darts. That's all I have currently. I'll get some other darts eventually. I get more money. I'm in it for the Yoshi, by the way. It's loading the fresh rate. There we go, that's my shot. It doesn't feel like 40 FPS like I've been saying. I'm really dead it out. Firing this blaster, it's like I I still don't know about the chrono velocity. It's like is my chronograph broken? Chronograph? I don't remember. I feel like it's called a chronograph. I don't know, I'm forward about a while ago. But like it feels pretty normal. It feels like like a jolt, kind of. But then when I look at the chronograph, it's like this isn't a jolt, it's like way less. 
But it wouldn't make a good backup pistol. It's just too big for a backup pistol. Like this, is, you have your primary, secondary, backup pistol. Um, this would not go as a backup pistol. It's too big. This grip is just not very good. Now, the big question, to buy or not to buy? Depends if you just want this for like role play cosmetics. For like a zombie thing, definitely buy it because like this thing sounds awesome. But besides for that, it's basically a very large weak jolt. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying it. And I don't have the unboxing because I don't really know how it is to a box. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to not miss out on any future content. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.